Thank you everyone for coming. Thank you. Can we take your seats and we'll start getting the questions in now. Okay, we are out. All eyes on one man, a hat-trick in his last game. Will he prosper once more? We'll have the action on EA TV. And I must say, this stadium falls in the must-visit category for any football fan, should the chance come his or her way. Anfield is the venue. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And we're certainly in the mood for Champions League group stage action. It is Liverpool facing Porto. Well, Derek, both teams played really well last time out, but something has to give here today. I'm looking forward to this one. It should be a great contest. And this Champions League group stage contest continues. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson begins in goal. Joe Gomez plays alongside Virgil van Dijk in central defence. Sadio Mane starts with Mohamed Salah out wide. And leading the attack today is Roberto Firmino. Oh, big moment here, Derek. Not out of the woods yet. And the keeper hangs on the second attempt well he's done really well hasn't he great stop and then the reaction Thiago it has to be ball is loose and a goal it is but offside is the verdict well it's a good finish but he was just offside great decision by the assistant Jesus Corona. Luis Diaz. 
The time just challenged magnificently. Right by the sound of it, somebody has scored at the San Siro, but who exactly? Alex can tell us. Can he finish? Well, that cross was more than acceptable, but they couldn't fire at home. And played in. And first class defending cleared off the line. And unfortunately, we did have to cut Alex off there. For clarification, Milan did net in that match, and their lead stands at 1-0 presently. Let's get the latest on the injury situation from our pitch side man, Jeff Shreves. 50-50 this one. He twisted his knee, he's been trying out, but I'm not sure he can carry on. Cheers, Jeff. Wonderful piece of tackling, Virgil van Dijk. Oh, a nice-looking pass. And a goal! 1-0 it is! They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it! Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. Liverpool restart the game. A wake-up call for them, perhaps. Alexander-Arnold. Well, he's been forced out of play this time. Fabio Cardoso. Ottavio now. And very deftly cut out. Well, they might be onto something. Wonderful block. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. And fine work from Liverpool to win the ball back. What can they do from here? Dangerous looking attack, and a goal! They've increased their lead, and they don't want to be throwing it away from here. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Second goal for them here. Tiago. No potential danger. Oh, he looks threatening. Cross towards that far post. Well, in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper. And that was always going to be claimed. Uh, will the keeper have to pay the price for that mistake? Well, it went sailing over the crossbar. Not a moment he'll want to remember. Well, no surprise there. Porto have been second best in terms of possession, but their count... You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Well, possibilities inside the box. Not all that convincing defensively. He takes aim. And that brings to an end the first half here at Anfield. Hasn't quite happened for Sadio Mane, has it, Stuart? Yeah, he's just not found his form today. He doesn't look quite right. Unless he can impose himself on this game and start threatening the keeper, they're going to lose...
Underway then in the second half of this Champions League group stage confrontation. Henderson. Roberto Firmino. Fabinho. And they could face difficulties here. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. He's going forward well here. Oh, could be. And foiled by Van Dijk. Mane. Here's Robertson. Just a quick reminder, we've got Champions League group stage action for you to look forward to here on EA TV. It's Liverpool versus Milan. That looks a really entertaining game. Two good teams with two excellent coaches. I can't wait for that one to come round. Salah. Firmino. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. He's given it away. Firmino has a go well that's really sound goalkeeping not letting the opposition have any scraps well that was a magnificent save just how did he keep that out that's incredible and options in the centre magnificent defending and a goal update to bring you from the San Siro Alex Scott has that for us Alex with the info as ever. And through for the goal kick. He hit it with power. Well, he's gone into the referee's notebook. And he can't be surprised. That was a poor challenge, you have to say. Coming onto the pitch, number seven, James Milner. Mateo Suribe. Jesus Corona. Jesus Corona. And could he find someone at the far post? A goal of the highest class. Fantastic technique. Well, here's the replay. And it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And then the finish is fairly simple. in the end that's a good goal well if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome surely they now have been removed just 20 minutes remaining now Milner a disadvantage Liverpool here Roberto Firmino Free kick awarded to Liverpool. And a substitution in the offing. What a comfortable piece of defending. And Mohamed Salah now. Oh, the referee has given it. Penalty it is. Well, it is a caution. And quite frankly, he can't really quibble. No, it's been coming, hasn't it? He's got to be careful now. He could get a red if he's not careful. And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. So on with the action. And 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Right by the sound of it, somebody has scored at the San Siro. But who exactly? Alex can tell us. Yeah, another goal for Milan. It would... Can he get one back? is becoming quite possible.
Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Well, the ball is moving again, and Liverpool are giving this a real go. Gruyich. Well, for power, 10 out of 10. For placement, maybe 8. Fabinho. Well, we had to interrupt Alex in full flow there. Apologies for that. For clarification, Milan did net in that match. And their lead stands at 3-1. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. And a throw-in it's going to be. Bruno Costa. Time and circumstances against Liverpool, but still they might hit back. And a bit short with the clearance. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. And just offside, but by a whisker, my goodness. Salah. Fabinho. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. And the alarm bells are ringing. That is that, the final score here, and it ends in a draw. What do you think the visitors feel about what they put? Some questions regarding the match. Yeah, no further questions, thanks.
Our camera lens trained on one man. He's been in terrific form as evidenced by four goals in three games. Stay with us. Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. My name is Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And what we've got on the menu is potentially absorbing league action. Stuart, how do you see this one going? Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Jimenez. That is not going to do wide of the target. Well, the numbers really speak for themselves, and the home side boasting the best defensive record in the league. They're going to be very hard to break down, you just feel. Well, they have a great defensive structure. Everybody knows their jobs. They work really hard and they hate conceding goals. They've been terrific so far. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. Corner given. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Oliveira. Dangerous ball. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing! Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. underway 1-0 it is goal! there to take it away could be dangerous a good and fair challenge routine really Porto have given it away in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here and teammates to play it to it looks promising and there's the feed into the box and a struggle to get it away properly great reflex action well that should have been a goal mind you it's a brilliant save and there's the delivery still could be dangerous well, he missed the target and then some. Wide it went. Jimenez. Well, you've got to conclude that it was completely overhit. Takes aim. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Now the delivery, and it wasn't a great header in all fairness, and a goal kick it is.
A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. There to win it back. Eustachio. Ball's gone. An incisive pass. Raul Jimenez. It might be. And up for grabs off the keeper. And in it goes. From the goalkeeper's point of view, so disappointing. Well, when you look at this again, there's two things wrong defensively about this. First of all, the goalkeeper should not be parrying it into a dangerous area, and the defenders have to be sharper to get to the knockdown. It's not good defending all round. Well, a second goal for them here. Stuffing out the danger. Well, he's allowed it to go over the touchline, so a throw in. And players waiting in the centre. And it still could be dangerous. Really good high press. Breaking at pace. Well, they might be onto something. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. got to say an incredible first half performance that scoreline tells you all you need to know Jesus Corona played into the box well I suspected that might be difficult for the keeper but I was wrong so the halftime whistle is sounded and it's so far so good for the hosts well, we said how good they are at the back, but today it's been the front players still in the show. They really have been a handful for the opposition. Their ability in 1v1 situations has been excellent. Raul Jimenez. That is not going to do well wide of the target. And so the second half is underway. They took quite the thrashing in that first 45. Can they turn things around now? The concession of a corner here. Who can he pick out? Well, not the best clearance. Now can they counter clinically? They need to get bodies back. Well, the danger was on, but just a fraction offside. Well, 
red to win possession back. Jimenez. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Great pressure to win the ball back. Oh, moving it nicely. Superb block. High echelon goalkeeping there. So the corner played into the box. Routine, really. This has been a top-class display today. Just look how many chances they've created. And if they want to, they could score a hatful of goals here. And he's beaten him here. Well, he has cause to be grateful to his teammate. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Mateo Suribe. Crossed into the penalty area. He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. 20 minutes to go. Mohamed Diaby. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Counter attacking, very much an option. Teammate and support. Well, it was a brilliant break, but no goal as a result. Well, forget the finish and just admire the way they counter-attack there. They did it with such pace and quality. And a substitution in the offing. Ottavio. out of play the pass nearly worked out but not quite Adama well possibilities in the center and routine for the keeper in the end the cross far too close to him Marius Nubisi consolation at this stage of the proceedings they haven't been at the best a glut of goals 5-1 it is and whipped into the box and the danger still on well threat averted read it well Jesus Corona and players waiting at the far post well, he couldn't quite hit the target, Stuart. Well, it's a decent effort, but I don't think it was ever going to trouble the goalkeeper. Substitution time it is.
And if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Can he find the net? Oh, fine stop. And he's fired over the corner. And, the and there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on. Raul Jimenez. Time for just a few questions. Yeah, no further questions, thanks.